When it comes to the world of marine audio, there is a brand that's always pushing the envelope, regardless if it's marine or other categories. Of course, I'm talking about Memphis Audio, the team that brings you innovative designs and ideas with every product they come up with. And certainly when it comes to marine audio, they will not disappoint. This is CMA Connected, presented by SiriusXM, all about Memphis Audio in the marine category. And it starts now. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another CMA Connected here on CMA Networks, presented by SiriusXM, of course. Now, we're talking about marine audio, and I, I want to hype up this brand, Memphis Audio. It seems like it's a brand that's just always on the cutting edge, always pushing the envelope, always coming up with cool, nifty ideas in every category. And we get the chance to have their president, no less, join us today. His name is Nick LaMonaco, and we're going to talk about what's new in marine. But before we get started into the specifics, let's hear from the horse's mouth, shall we say, of why. Nick feels that Memphis Audio deserves to be a serious partner for dealers within the marine audio category. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Thanks for having me on here. Um, well, uh, to get into why Memphis Audio is a great partner uh, in marine audio is because we are always looking for the newest and coolest ways to get sound on the water. Um, we started like everybody else in the early 2000s by spray painting our, uh, our car audio white. Uh, but over the last 15 to 20 years, we've uh, really evolved in the marine audio world. And that pretty much starts from being on the water. So whether it's us or our customers being on the water, trying to tell us what they need in audio, that's, that's how we evolve our product. And then, as you know, we always try to make our stuff a little bit cooler, a little bit louder, a little bit flashier then the competition to stand out as well. So from our basic amplifiers, we try to make them easy to integrate multiple options for our speakers. We try to make them sound better, have more mounting options, uh, be more versatile in different environments. And then when it comes to stuff over the top, like subwoofers and tower speakers, we just go to make our ours louder, um, look better, have more LEDs because we know that adds more DB output. Um, so we're really focused on making the product work in the marine environment, specifically for the marine environment. Nothing is a, is a lame crossover from cars to boats, um, just trying to be over the top as much as possible and be the loudest, loudest product on the water from the entry level to the high end. Nick, that sounds amazing. And no, we don't expect to see anything lame in today's presentation. Thank you for laying that out for us. It's exciting. We're going to get into all the product that you have to offer. But before that, we're going to go to a message from our sponsor, Sirius XM, because without their support, we simply wouldn't have all these great shows on CMA Networks. Hey, guys. Ricky Lima here from Sirius XM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling Sirius XM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Sirius XM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and reliability. People love it. All right, so we're going to get into it with Nick here, all about marine audio and Memphis audio. And I think a great place to start, Nick, is obviously something that we had a chance to experience at CMA Expo earlier on this year, and it's your brand new tower speakers. And might I say, there is a unique design feature that is very prominent right from the get-go. I'm not going to steal your thunder. I'll let you talk about it. Tell us all about the new Memphis audio tower speakers. Yeah, well, this is probably, I've been saying the... Uh... The greatest thing to uh, happen to marine audio since the boat was invented. Um, so these speakers, uh, we, we, we wanted to come out with a new tower speaker. We knew we had some stiff competition. There's some companies that make some awesome tower speakers out there. Uh, Got to give them credit. Uh, companies that have been doing it for a long time. And we knew with our new speakers, we really needed to stand out and have some amazing product. So we started thinking about what what is always at an outdoor concert, you know, outdoor concert or on a boat, that's kind of the same thing. So if you're, you're standing in a stadium, listening to your favorite band play, you always see speaker 
speaker arrays. There's always speaker arrays at those concerts. It allows the 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 audio to to be spread across wide area as well as be super loud and controllable. Um, so we were thinking, why couldn't we do that on a boat? Uh, so we thought about it and like, hey, we can do that with some tweeters instead of a compression horn. So we did some testing, made a made a cardboard bridge on our old tower speaker, and the concept was born. And uh, fast forward a year and a half later, we now have a patented design where we have a three tweeter array on our eight inch tower and a four tweeter array on our ten inch tower. Um, so here's a here's a quick look of the eight inch tower in black. Unfortunately. I don't have it lit up, so that's that's a little bit disappointing. So this will be, you know, three to six dB quieter with the LEDs off. Um, but we can see there in the video the three tweeters on the eight inch here, beautiful gloss back. Um, all of this lights up here, lights up there, lights up here, and then lights up on the back with the adjustable logo. You can turn that anyway, depending on how you mount the speaker. And the grill also pivots as well. So as I mentioned. The uh, line array allows us to get uh, more coverage left to right. And in today's world, I mean, we're, we're hearing from our customers that surfing, wake surfing is more popular now than wakeboarding. So you're going to be just behind the boat, just to the left or the right of the boat. Don't ask me the correct terminology for boats. I don't know that. But um, you'll be just behind the boat as opposed to being 15 feet directly behind the boat on a wakeboard. So this this array allows us to get better sound left to right for the surfer to be able to hear it. In addition to that, this is a fully sealed design. So virtually everyone else's, including our old tower speakers, they had a compression horn in the middle. Well, the compression horn was impossible for it to be waterproof because it's in the middle, water can get in. In addition, you had a, uh, a rubber surround between the, between the uh, tweeter and the mid which created inefficiencies in the mid bass driver as well. So now that we have a fully sealed dust cap on the mid, we're getting better mid bass response, mid -base response as well as a fully sealed enclosure and the tweeters. So it's a real waterproof speaker as opposed to pretty waterproof uh, with the compression horn. With the regular tweeters as well, we're gonna be between two and four dB louder. That's actual real tested at five, 10 and 20 meters than the top competitors compression drivers. So in addition to having a much flatter response, more mid bass response because of that sealed dust cap, flatter response because we don't have the aggressive compression driver spinning the, the higher end frequencies sporadically, a lot smoother response with the regular tweeter. Um, so we're gonna be smoother and louder and play wider all in the same footprint of an eight and a 10 inch can. So we uh, spent a lot of time making it look beautiful with I believe the most LEDs on a tower speaker in the industry, um, and then made it louder with better coverage than any tower speaker in the industry. I gotta say that is a unique character detail. I haven't had the chance to hear them yet, nor do I really wakeboard, but I can only imagine the, the kind of output that these can uh, speakers are gonna give. Now, um, that's not all. There's a lot we're gonna cover on the show. And one of the really cool items that I got to hear in person. Now, it, when I heard it, I believe it was a knowledge fest and was in the back of a side-by-side -side vehicle. But this is a, an item that can go so many different places. It's got an interesting name. It's called the Hydro Cube. Nick, Tell us the story about the design and where the idea of this even came from. Yeah, so this uh, the HydroCube came came into play just like a lot of our other products where we listen to our dealers, listen to our end users when they say, wouldn't it be cool if we had so many of our products uh, have come to light with that comment before it. So we had a lot of our customers saying, we really would like a loaded enclosure that works in a boat that's waterproof but we could also use it in a side-by-side. -side. We could also put it in the back of a Jeep, just anywhere, golf cart, anywhere that you need uh, a water and element resistant enclosure. And so we thought, well, we, we make some pretty loud enclosures for, for cars. So let's see if we can make a cool one for a Marine that also that is loud, but is also completely element resistant. Um, so what this is, this is a, has one active 10 and we're looking at the active 10 on the box there with two passive 10 inch radiators on the left and right. Um, you'll know, notice that the, the one sub that is the active sub looks a little bit different. That's because that's our regular Marine sub in there and it's got dual LED lighting. So it lights up from behind the cone and also the logo in the middle lights up. So it's uh, 
very, very beautiful six to 12 dB louder because you've doubled the LEDs. Um, you know, that's scientific. If you've heard my videos before, um, big rugged grills, uh, protect, protect that sub and the passive radiators. If you look, uh, on either side, those little circles there, I think Phil can show us the brackets, uh, that, that come with it. So they have some really nice aluminum brackets that bolt to multiple spots on the enclosure. Um, so you can mount it many different ways, having the active woofer fire, uh, multiple different directions which is very, very nice, very easy, very easy to install in the back of a side-by-side, -side, uh, in some furniture on a boat, um, just on, on the floor of a boat um, or back of a, a Jeep. We get a lot of customers putting these in Jeeps because of the cool, rugged look and not having to worry about any sort of elements if they forget to put their, their top on or something like that. Um, and then this enclosure uses our Flex technology. So if we can flip over to the... Uh, terminal side of the enclosure. This enclosure comes both loaded and uh, passive like this like this uh, version here. So this is no amplifier, you gotta give it 300 watts of power, but it has our flex technology. And what that means is that you look at those jumpers there and you can make this enclosure two or four ohm, which makes it super easy to match up with an amplifier. All of our amplifiers work easily with our, with our flex technology woofers because of the fact that we can do two or four ohm, but it also, if you unfortunately decided to use another brand's amplifier, ability to switch from two to four ohm makes it easy on their amplifiers as well. There's also a amplified version of this enclosure where you see that terminal that will just be an amp plate uh, and you'll have a 300 watt amp built in so you can have an all-in-one solution. Um, so this has been extremely popular, just launched this year. Um, and if you really need some bang uh, in a small, uh, small space that needs uh, water resistance, element resistance, the Hydro Cube is the way to go. Hey, Nick, I got to say, you know, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. The hack box is such a unique offering. I haven't seen it anywhere else. And I think there's going to be a lot of places that dealers can find uh, to place that thing. It's going to satisfy a lot of different situations. So congratulations to your team uh, on the design and development of that particular unit. Now, while we're talking about base, you mentioned that the main driver in that box was part of your regular Marine series. I believe it's called the MM series. I want to give you an opportunity to talk about what Memphis has when it comes to the lower end side of things when it comes to subwoofers. Yeah, Ben, our our MM subs, those are one of the few things that uh, evolved from back in the day. I, I mentioned at the beginning, just spray painting a subwoofer white. That's that's where these started, uh, but they have definitely evolved to a true marine grade subwoofer and getting you that base on a boat um, from the painted steel baskets now to full plastic baskets. You see there, those hands are beautiful. Uh, the, the nice grill matching the Hydro Cube grill as well. And we have that in, comes with gunmetal in the box. We have black and white available. Um, we This subwoofer is available in 10 and 12 inch. Just like the Hydro Cube, you have the dual LED lighting. Both the cone illuminates from the rear and the logo as well. So you get that, that glorious 60 dB extra output due to the LEDs. Um, and you could totally test that. Uh, if we flip the woofer over, you see um, obviously the nice rubber surround, clear poly cone, and you will notice the plastic basket. So the plastic basket obviously there to combat corrosion. You don't have to worry about salt water or anything else with a plastic basket and like uh, steel or even sometimes aluminum, you get some issues. Um, so plastic is the best way to go. And you've got that nice selectable voice coil, that flex technology on the side there. So this sub can be two or four home, 300 Watts, uh, makes it super versatile again, to match up with our amplifier, um, on two channel. You can even use a four channel. Um, and of course, monos to get that, that power into the sub. So the, the other side of the terminal, that's, that's just the input for the amplifier. If you're not familiar with our flex technology, you just plug that in right there into your amplifier. And the other side is where you set the impedance. And then, of course, the RGB connector coming out right there to wire up to whichever controller you may have on hand. So that is our awesome uh, marine subwoofers, uh, again, available in 10 or 12, 300 watts. And that beautiful flex technology, 2 or 4 ohm. 
we're going to stick to the topic of subwoofers here. And when I looked through the catalog, Nick, I was really happy to see that one of the most popular lineups in the Mojo series has also made its way into your Marine offering. I'd like to see what that's all about. Tell us all about the Mojo Marine sub. Yeah, Ben, the Mojo Mini has been the most popular sub launch probably in the history of our company. If you're not familiar with the Mojo and the Mojo Minis, um, you haven't been paying attention to Memphis because uh, we have those subwoofers all over the place. I mean, to be honest, during COVID, it was virtually impossible to keep them in stock. Uh, they would come in and they would immediately sell out. So um, even now, it's still tough to keep them in stock because of their popularity. And again, goes back to our customers saying, we want Mojo Minis in a boat. So we listened. So we took our most popular subwoofer, uh, one of our most popular subwoofers and our biggest, most popular subwoofer launch in the history of our company, and we turned it into a marine sub. Uh, first off, looking at it, uh, you'll notice it has a, a poly dust cap, of course, for water resistance. Uh, the car version has a fiber dust cap. But uh, the biggest change immediately is that it has a beautiful LED illuminating the M logo in the middle of the sub. So, ooh, look at that, flickered on. Um, again, it's going to make it louder than the car version for the same power because of those LEDs. Um, you have the, the V-Groove surround on the sub, which uh, allows, the, allows you to get more surface area, and more surface area moving means you're going to get more output. In addition, that V-Groove surround keeps the voice coil much more linear when moving uh, in and out of the voice coil gap, so there's less chance of that voice coil uh, touching inside that voice coil gap when you're really jumping on it keeps definitely keeps that voice coil more lin more linear. Uh, if we look to the side of the sub, you'll see the nice gray aluminum basket and blue heat sink there to get that heat out from the sub. This is a 600 RMS 8 inch subwoofer that just gets after it. Um, as we keep turning, you'll see the the flex technology here, the jumpers. So this can be one or two ohm subwoofer. Uh, so you really can, I'm sorry, I take that back. That's a two or four ohm subwoofer. Uh, so it allows you to use our marine, our marine amplifiers to power it. Uh, as we flip it to the back, you'll see the nice, uh, direct voice coil venting there. So those, those six holes looking like a revolver, uh, those vent directly into the voice coil gap. So as the subwoofer moves out, it, sucks cool air in and then as it moves back down it pushes that warm air out so it makes it real efficient cooling and then you see that led wire going that lights up the logo underneath the dust cap so this is all the same technology as the regular mojo mini that does so extremely well the output you get out of these eight inch subs is most people are blown away and can't they, they're like oh that's not an eight inch Yes, it is. Um, so this is definitely something we're excited about, bringing that small footprint, high output subwoofers from bringing it from the car and giving it a true marine version to put in your boat. All right, we're going to switch gears now because obviously it, it takes so many different components to complete a marine audio system. We're going to head over to the category known as source units. Now, I know in Memphis, there's multiple different solutions when it comes to getting your proper source unit needs taken care of. Uh, can you take us through um, the entire selection so the dealers out there understand that pretty much when it comes to the source unit category, Memphis Audio has got you covered? Yeah, Ben. So we've had quite an evolution in head units for Marine um, in the last few years. We started with our basic gauge style, you know, black and white screen, round radio. We were very excited because that was our first real source unit as a company. Uh, but we've come a long way since then now with multiple options for many different applications, making our head units really um, very, very versatile with just a few SKUs. So starting with the SMC2A, let's take a look at that. You'll see that it is a black box radio. So up at the top, you have a IPX6 rated uh, radio. So you can get that wet. That's fine in a boat. That's fine in a side-by-side. -side, that's fine in, in, a, in a jacuzzi or a barbecue. Those have been used there as well. What, it, what that is, that's a full radio, full marine radio. So you're going to have a 50 by 4 chip amplifier in it. You're going to have front rear sub outputs. You're going to have RGB control. Um, you're going to have AM, FM, Bluetooth, weather band, uh, USB. And then all of that, the coolest thing is all of that is controlled by an app or by this 
simple remote that Phil is holding up in the camera right there. The center of that remote with the nice rotary volume knob changes colors with the source that you've selected. So even though there's no screen, by looking at the color uh, on the on the controller, you can know which what source you have you have set up. So you set this uh, this radio up on the app so you can set your FM AM presets on the app. So then you can just scroll through the precepts uh, presets on your controller. You can select a million different RGB colors with the RGB output, and then we also have an, a plug and play that works with anyone's RGBs amplifier. So you could use this source to power every LED on your boat or side by side or whatever you wanted with that built with that external RGB amplifier that you would just put in line here. Um, with the front rear and sub outputs, you're going to have a full fully customizable seven band EQ as well as uh, set presets like rock pop, all of those. Um, so this is a very, very versatile, radio. I mean, we, we sell a lot of these radios uh, for side-by-sides. We use it in our side-by-side -side kits. And then of course on boats, especially smaller boats where they don't need a huge system. They don't need a lot of external features. They're, they're, they want to, especially deck power, maybe add an amp for some subs and uh, have a whole hideaway unit. Doesn't take up a lot of space. Too little two inch knockout for that controller. Now, for those that need the bigger system and need to have multi-zones, we have come out with the MXA Z24MC. And what that is, that is a fully functional marine radio with a three inch color screen. Let's see if uh, Phil can show us what that one looks like. So you can see there, nice looking and rotary volume knob. We got rotaries um, on everything, powers up. I know for sure it's Memphis, it lights up there. So this, this radio has AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary, um, scroll through all the, the options there. Um, and this is going to, again, have four by 50 output, um, front rear and sub RCA output, and as well as a zone two output. Now the, one of the best features of this radio, this is our, our highest end radio, I guess is, is, uh, is that you have a full EQ, full customizable EQ on the main and on zone two. So you can have a, you can, in the radio, you can adjust the EQ on the zone two, just like you can on the, the main zones. So very, very cool to use this for, if you do have towers, you do have, um, a, a system internal on in the boat. You can see Phil scrolling through as easy to get to all of the, the different EQ settings. Very, very simple to use. And then like you've heard me say over and over again, I'll say again, uh, we really do listen to our customers or our users. So moving from the Z24, we came out with our now most popular radio, which is our SMC3, which shares a similar look and a lot of features as the Z24. So as I mentioned, you can see it looks very similar to the uh, SM or the Z24MC. Uh, same connect, same power connector, so you can swap them out either way with the same same wiring you're still going to get front rear sub you're going to get a, a zone two output but again we're trying to we listen to our customer for all the core features so there is a, a customizable eq but not a separate one for zone two on this one just a little simpler of a radio but still has all the main features you're going to want to have um it's got the built-in 4x50 amplifier it's got the color screen um got am fm bluetooth auxiliary um and then of course it also has a backup camera and this listening to our customers made it real easy with a push button for the cam um, so we can see there's Phil waving on the camera little screen and I get a lot of questions from from dealers uh, asking oh wow, wow that screen's too small why do I need a camera well when you're talking about a boat or maybe even a side-by-side -side, you don't need a giant screen uh, let's say you've got a tow boat and you've got someone on a kids on a tube or a guy wakeboarding or wake surfing uh, you just need to be make sure that that person's above the water. So you don't need a giant screen to be able to see, okay, wait, there's nobody on the, on top of the water anymore. There's no one that, that, that tube is flipping around. There's no one in it anymore. Um, or if you used it on a side by side, you'd be like, okay, am I running over my kid or my dog? That's really all you need it for. So in addition, our, our customers like it because that's, it's an additional labor and install to put a, to put a camera in a boat. So super cool feature there. So you're going to get everything all in one of this one, waterproof, 
built-in radio, front rear sub, zone two, to, to adjust the different the volumes from sub or zone two, you just tap the main volume. Life is real easy, real easy to use this. Um, just tap the volume knob to go between zone one, zone uh, main, zone one, zone two, and sub, and right back. It's super easy to use. And so after our full color head units, we also brought some uh, new Bluetooth controllers out for more, more basic audio systems. Um, so smaller boat, use it on a, uh, on like a personal watercraft or just a small fishing boat. And you want to have that easy to use controller and source unit. We have our new Bluetooth controllers. These, uh, just launched last year. So this is the SBT four. So this is a, again, IPX six rated water resistant box there. You got auxiliary and Bluetooth. See the aux in there as well as USB. And the controller, as you see there, um, it does light up and it changes colors with the source, just like uh, the other controller um, for the SMC2A. Um, that you got all your main controls there, play, pass, forward, back, and the rotary. Uh, there's multiple mounting options for the controller. It also comes even with a bar mount. So if you did want to put this on like a motorcycle, it comes with a handlebar mount that makes it real easy to mount on handlebars or a bar on a, on a personal watercraft. Um, and then it also comes with the, the surface mount and the cup to make it look real nice mounted on, on wherever you've got it mounted. So very cool piece. Um, going to get you, I think about three volts of output to run an amplifier. So very cool. And then in addition to that, which we don't have to look at is a basic streamer that, uh, just for Bluetooth streaming in again, that gets you about three volts of output. So you can actually run a good amplifier with it. So through all the head units going from the SMC 2A with a super cool app, million LEDs, black box to the cool two color screen versions and then our Bluetooth streamers, we've got everything our customers need to get audio on the water. The next item I want to talk to you about, Nick, is something that I thought was super intriguing the first time you showed it to us. But I want to take a, a moment here to express how unique this particular item is. Now, we're talking about a sound bar. Yeah, there's a lot of sound bars on the market, but not quite like this one. Please explain to us the design element of this and the application it was designed to do. Yeah, Ben, like I mentioned before, and I keep mentioning it again, uh, we're known for having some pretty loud, great sounding sound bars. Uh, and... A couple of years ago, our customers were like, man, it'd be really cool if you had a soundbar that we could put on a personal watercraft. And so we said, you're right, that would be pretty cool. So let's see if we can do that. And the MXA SB9 was born. But putting a soundbar on a personal watercraft or a boat somewhere where you know there could be a, either dunked in water or get a large splash of water, that, that's, a, that's a tough tough thing to do because, you know, look at that enclosure, it's black. Uh, and when it's getting heat from the sun and the amp built in amplifier, that enclosure is getting pretty hot. Um, and that enclosure is, includes the airspace for the speakers. So with that enclosure being, let's say, 100 degrees, 120 degrees, beating down in the sun with the amplifier in there. Um, and let's say it was on a, on a, on a Sea-Doo spark and you flip that spark into the water. Well, this hot enclosure is going to get completely submerged in very frigid 70 degree, sorry Canadians, I only know Fahrenheit, 70 degree water, uh, and that would cause a dramatic pressure change inside that enclosure. Well, the way we combated that is if you look right where the, the, the wires come into the back of the enclosure, there's a little circle there, and that is, that is a waterproof valve. So that's a Gore-Tex valve, which allows air to pass through it, but not water. So when there is a dramatic pressure change, like a hot enclosure is dunked into cold water, uh, the that valve allows the air to equalize and saves the speakers from from either being blown out or sucked in. I forget which way that would go uh, in that in that application. So that's how we were able to create a full IPX7 rated uh, speaker enclosure. So this can go underwater one meter for up to thirty minutes and stay stay functional. Um, and if we flip it back to the front, we'll see that it's got um, two three and a halfs and two tweeters. And so this is roughly nine inches long, not just a clever name on the SB9. Uh, and this is pound for pound the loudest soundbar that you can get. This soundbar will keep up with our 20 inch soundbar uh, as well as virtually every other everybody else's 20 inch soundbar in a small tiny enclosure. Those one inch tweeters on there, they, they get it screaming. Obviously, with more 
with more cone area on the 20 inch with more mids, they're going to have a little bit more mid base response, but this thing screams for its size and really gets output. People are blown away with how loud this enclosure is. Uh, if we move to the top, you'll see all of the, the buttons for play, pause, and volume all right there. They do light up, um, make it easy to see. And then we can look at the back uh, and bottom for the mounting options. All those little rubber spots are for mounting options. See here we have three, three spots in the back, um, three spots in the bottom to mount the, the mounting bar. And then it comes with those two Ram mount style mounts that you see uh, Phil's holding up there. So it makes it real easy to put on handlebars. So this also works for a motorcycle. Uh, but a CD Spark works amazing. Other uh, side by sides, you can take the bottom of that mount and surface mount. So screw the bottom of the mount right onto a flat area. Um, also comes with the bar mount, so you can put it mounted on uh, the side of a pontoon or any railing. Make it super easy. Very very versatile mounting. We also have a uh, surface mount available, uh, an additional accessory that you can get as well. So this thing really can be mounted anywhere. It's got Bluetooth and auxiliary in. You could hardwire two together if you wanted the, the output of one uh, into the auxiliary in of the other. Uh, so you get two of these going at once. A friend of mine actually has that set up on his uh, Yamaha YXE side by side. Um, but there, you're not going to get a louder bang for your buck in in the in the inch. This little nine inch thing screams. Um, and in addition, it's got very very versatile mounting options. Um, and it's truly waterproof. You know, if you want to like play for the fish for 30 minutes, 31 minutes, you've got a problem, but you can play for the fish one meter underwater for 30 minutes, which I mean, a lot of us are probably going to do. Just real quickly, we want to talk to you about the full range speaker variety and the selection from Memphis, because of course we are talking about a complete offering in the Marine audio segment from Memphis audio. So Nick, what do you got going on in the full range speaker lineup? Well, Ben, we uh, we have three speaker sizes in our high-end uh, MXA line. So we have the MXA 60, 80, and 69L, which, as you can imagine, are 6.5, 6x9, and 8-inch. Uh, really cool features of ours that everyone seems to love is, you see there, every speaker comes with two different color grills in the box. So you have the gunmetal and the white grill in the box. Beautiful uh, silver cone that really reflects the LEDs. Again, when you turn them on, you're getting three to 60 more output. Um, plastic basket, as I mentioned before, very good. The best way to, to, to combat corrosion. Um, and then flipping back to the front, we have a pivotable tweeter. Um, and our customers really enjoy being able to direct that tweeter whichever direction they want to get the sound going. So very, um, very cool feature. Not a, a lot of people are doing that and, and it makes it really nice to aim that sound um, whichever direction you need, where, especially if the speakers are mounted low in the furniture on a boat. And then we are known for all of our speakers, but especially our eight inch and having some of the best mid bass of anybody's marine audio speakers. So for some mid bass, um, maybe you, there's no room for a sub, you don't wanna have a sub, but you can throw four of our eights in there. You're, you're gonna be able to, to get a, a good amount of low end without adding, um, a lot of weight with the subwoofer. Nick, you've done an incredible job walking us through the entire lineup, but of course we'd be remiss if we weren't gonna talk about some amplifiers because just recently Memphis introduced a brand new line of amplifiers with a new look, new feel, new features. Tell us all about them. What is the breakout and what is the offering? So finally going into the last product we're gonna talk about is, well, it'll be the last time I say it today, we listened to our customers and really tailored this new Marine amplifier line to exactly what, what they needed and what fit well with our product lineup. So these are fully redesigned from the ground up, true marine amplifiers designed specifically for the marine environment. Um, we have three models. We have the 600.2 two channel, 500.4 four channel, and then the coolest amp in the lineup, the 900.6 six channel. So let's start with that as we're looking at it right here. Um, some of the cool features are, as you see, the fully sealed speaker outputs. So those are, you can unplug, plug them in, wire up your speakers and then just snap them right in. Um, the speaker, the pinouts for those connectors are very similar to some other lines. So 
uh, it's become sort of a, it's not officially a marine standard, but it kind of is with some of the large OEM manufacturers. So it's the same pinouts there. Uh, it's got a removable power lug with uh, full marine grade rated uh, power connectors. Um, everything's sealed. This is IPX5. The control panel on the top, you would, uh, two screws, takes that panel off to, to get you to all of your amplifier settings. So two things are good about that. Seals it away for water, but also keeps the customer out of it from thinking he knows what he's doing to turn up all the volume knobs. And then the, uh, the six channel comes with a dual, a dual knob remote there. So you have your volume control for the front four and then a volume control for your fifth and six channels independently. So one thing that is super cool with our amplifiers that works along with our subwoofers and their flex technology is, um, we were trying to find a way to stream, streamline our amps so we didn't have to have a ton of amps, a bunch of monos, two channels, because you need the big power for the subwoofers, but then you also need big power for tower speakers. Our 10-inch tower is 350 watts RMS. When you get a pair of those, that, that, that's, that's getting into your, your subwoofer power. So with the benefits of our flex technology and our subwoofers, we don't need a mono. We don't need a five channel in our lineup. So that six channel that we were showing, that has that's four by ninety and two by three hundred at two ohm. So what that means is you can run some cabin speakers off the front four channels, um, and have all of your cabin speakers on that one volume knob. And then the fifth and sixth channel with staggered power, you can either run two of our our marine subs, uh, put the impedance down to two ohm and put run two of them. Or take our Mojo Mini and jump that up to 4 ohm, and you got 600 watts to power that on the 5th and 6th channel. Or you can take two tower speakers and throw it on the higher power on that 5th and 6th channel and get a ton of power out full range. So now we used to have a 5 channel that was good for speakers and subs. Now we have a 6 channel that's good for speakers and subs or speakers and towers. Um, similar going on to the, the 2 channel. So we have a 600 watt 2 channel. Like I mentioned before, just bridge that to four ohm. You got a, you have a mono to run our Mojo Mini. You uh, leave it as a true two channel. You can run two of our Marine subs, or you can run two or four towers with that two channel. And then end up uh, finishing out the lineup is our 500.44 channel. So you get 125 watts by four to power a bunch of stuff, or you still could use it to power tower speakers or even subs. Again, the versatility of our of our flex technology. Um, makes this amplifier lineup streamlined with only three SKUs. We're able to cover virtually every every application you would need. You can use a six channel to power some cabins and towers, and then you can use our two channel to put some subs in there. Uh, make make life real easy with just three three amplifiers to to bring out the line. First of all, thank you so much, Nick, for coming in today and really walking us through in detail the expansive selection of product within the marine audio category when it comes to Memphis Audio. So I'm going to leave you with this final question. Help us understand or summarize for us why you feel Memphis Audio truly should be a strong partner for dealers when it comes to marine audio this season. Well, Ben, as you saw me walk through uh, a lot of the cool product that we have, you heard me say time and time again that we listen to our customers and our end users. So all of our stuff is built with a reason, with their input, with the people that are using its input. So we try to give the most features, best bang for the buck in each of our categories. We try to give features that no one else has in most of our categories. So we're working on patented innovative technology, as well as giving you what you need and not making you pay for stuff you don't. So it's really some of the best sounding, best quality car. Our car audio has been turned into marine audio in the industry while also having some of the coolest, coolest stuff and innovations and features that anyone else has. And of course, there's LEDs on everything. And we know LEDs make things better. Of course, when it comes to dealers in Canada, you're going to want to hook up with the boys and girls over at Automobility, for they are the exclusive distributor for all things Memphis Audio in Canada. So I thought I'd reach out to Phil Cameron, who did a great job, of course, showing the product today, but I wanted to get his opinion on a couple of the products presented. So, Phil, after you've seen the presentation today and all the things that Nick brought to the table, what are your three picks that you think dealers should really watch out for? Ben, I'm not sure I like this question. It's uh, it's like asking me which one of my kids I like the best, which 
I don't have a favorite, but if I have to, uh, here are the products that I thought was uh, the most interesting based on the next presentation. The first one would be the HydroCube. Uh, super easy install. It's a great addition to any sound system that you might want for your customers. So if you need a little bit more bass, it's simple. Find a spot, great accessories to mount it. It's very solid and it just looks cool. Super loud as well. And it's uh, sold amplified or not amplified. So if you want something all in one, no external amplifier, it's sold as amplified as well. And it's super versatile. You can install it pretty much anywhere you want. As we just discussed, you can do marine application. You can do a power sport side by side. If you want your golf cart, you can install pretty much anywhere. This is a very interesting product. It's very fun product from Memphis. I like that Hydra Cube a lot. It's pretty cool. Second one would be the tower speaker with the new uh, Tweeter array. This is a product that I heard for the first time at the CMA Expo and uh, Nick was not lying when he said that this product was super loud. Not only is it loud, but it does sound very, very good. And this is exactly what you would be looking for for tower speakers. You want something that's loud enough that you can hear it from far away, but you want something that sounds very good. If you're going to spend the time doing the wakeboard in the back there, you want something that sounds really, really good. So this would be my second pick for today. And the Third pick would be obviously the six channel amplifier. It's very nice amplifier. It's a very well engineered as far as the versatility. So you can do your traditional six speakers, but having those two extra speaker channel with more power gives you that uh, flexibility that you may need. If you just want to add some, uh, some subs, you can. If you want to add some tower speakers, you can. And that little control knob with the two separate zones where you can control the volume for maybe your four cabin speakers, you may not want it as loud as your tower speakers or your sub. The ability to control that separately, for me, it is uh, very, very nice. And talk about size, not super big, not super small, Perfect size, in my opinion. It will fit pretty much anywhere, easy to install. And having all those connectors on one side, for me as a tech, makes the life a lot easier. Philip, that is a really job well done in, in encapsulating exactly what I think are the three hottest products from today's presentation. Certainly, Memphis is, it doesn't have a shortage of goodies in the marine audio segment. Now, the relationship with automobility and Memphis audio is a young one, in fact. It hasn't been years and years. It's, in fact, I remember when you guys launched it. So help us understand and communicate to the dealers the success that automobility has had with the Memphis brand here in Canada. You're right. We've had very good success with this brand in Canada, and there's multiple reasons for that. This is why our dealers are so successful with this. So first of all, like most of the audio line that Automobility sells, it is a protected line. So it's authorized dealer only. So it's not open to everyone. It is map protected and will offer you great margins before your program. So very profitable, very good product line. It is also a how do I say that? A complete or a full line. So it doesn't matter which category you're going after, they have product for that. So as we saw today, if you're looking for marine application, they have product made specifically for marine application. Same thing with the car audio, with the power sport and the motorcycle, they have product designed specifically for those application and makes your life a lot easier. So you as a dealer, if you're not going after marine this year, maybe next year, if you want to go after marine application, you can find the right product within the same brand that you know and love and you are already selling, which is at Memphis. Uh, on top of that, they sell tons of installation accessories. So your typical wiring kit, power cable, RCAs, fuse, distribution block, LED controllers. So everything that you may need to install it. They sell Bluetooth speakers, which sounds amazing, by the way. And one thing that I like about Memphis is that it's a overall great company. They've been around for a very, very long time. And you don't stay in business for that long if you're not serious about making quality and good, reliable product. Memphis always looking ahead to see what new, what 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 they can make that will be new for this industry. And they're never stopping to research and development. And 
one thing that I saw a little bit earlier on, I don't know if you guys remember a couple session back, we talked about their new DSP. So yes, they also offer a DSP, which is one of the easiest and simplest one to use on the industry right now. So if you're looking for a, a full, complete line of product, Memphis is your partner. And there you have it, guys. That was Nick LaMonaco and also joined by Phil Cameron from Automob, all about Memphis audio in the marine audio category. Thank you both for bringing all the products to the table today and for having such a great selection within this category. That's it for this CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.